Good night. Hi, how are you? Hi, hi Anita. Hi, how, how are, are you? you? <laughs> <laughs> I I am I'm, I'm a little bit uh, tired today. Why? Why? You're tired. Why? <laughs> <laughs> I was doing a lot of things today. I went to do some things to to different places. So I'm a little bit tired, but with energy i mean tired but with energy <laughs> uh -huh. the, the thing yes. is that when i begin my class i forget about about everything mm -hmm. oh okay about everything so and and you how are you fine fine, fine. fine. <laughs> uh, the, uh, did you uh, did you have any problems with the with the question now, oh yes yes uh, uh the part two mm -hmm. uh, homework thing yes it's a uh, no oh. no i no 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 make can you do me a favor maybe you can send me uh, a message to remind me okay yeah okay. because today i had a lot of things to do and i oh. didn't remember yesterday no right yeah you stay in tu tutorial tutorial <laughs> Oh, in the in the in the in the tutory. Uh -huh. yeah, uh -huh. I think no, she started now. No, uh, yeah, but after after the the tutory, we I mean we upload videos. Mm -hmm. So I went to bed like at maybe one p.m. one a.m. in the morning. Oh, oh. Yes, so it was too late. So, but no, if you can, or or maybe the next day, there is no problem about that. Okay, okay. Uh, um, I I have a question. Um, I start to the middle lesson, and the uh, I think make is Saturday. Ah, okay, that's okay. No problem. I mean, no problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because the midterm had to be because the midterm is in the middle of the modulo. I mean, two weeks the midterm, and then two other weeks so okay. yes you can you can do it i mean it's it's your your i mean you and and your responsibility so if you want to do it there is no problem okay 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 yeah you I, can do it okay just i say i i think uh i have a problem for the i uh, i start no 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 okay that that that, that is a matter of, of responsibility all right 
Very good. Okay. Hi, okay. Edgar and Linda. How are you? Hello. Hello. Hi, Edgar. Good I only night. see. Ah, yes. Because yesterday I only saw I only saw your forehead. Hi, Linda. <laughs> oh. I Hi Linda, how are you? Hi Tiki, uh, how are you? Tomorrow, tomorrow, Fine, today, after, today after the class, I will send you the the other the other songs, okay? Ah, oh, okay. Yeah. Perfect. Today I was I was busy. Mm -hmm. Okay, everybody, uh, we're gonna begin today with our class. Hi, Herman. Now oh, he's he's getting online. Hi, Herman. Hi, teacher. Who are you? I'm funny. Good. Okay. And Sandy, I see Sandy is getting online. Okay. We're going to begin today with class number nine. Can you see the PowerPoint? Yes. Yeah. Yes, okay. Very good. Now, uh, today, the, the class from today is very, very, very important because we're going to learn. I'm going to tell you what we're going to learn. All right. Uh, this is what we're, like, we're, we're gonna learn, all right? We will ask and provide information on location of facilities. That means today we're gonna learn prepositions, how to say a uh, la par, how to say enfrente, and to give a, a locations. For example, vaya recto, cruce a la izquierda. That is what we're gonna learn today, all right? We're gonna learn to provide information on location of facilities of the company, of, of, of. We have a lot of ofs. Okay, now, to begin, we have the first activity. And the first activity is, the name of the first activity is places in town or the places in the city, okay? In the city, we have different places. Can you tell me some different places that you know from the city? Tell me, different places that you know from the city. Drugstore. Uh-huh, very good, the drugstore, Francisco, right? Yeah. Hi, night. Francisco. <laughs> now I know. Theater. Sorry, the theater, very good. Theater, theater. What else? Park. Sorry? Park. Park, park, uh, park. Hospital. What else? hospital, and we have a lot of places, okay? So the first activity from the class is very, is very nice because you will learn vocabulary and also you will learn definitions or to give definitions. For example, here we have the, the instruction of the activity. The instruction said, says, read the hints that will be given and guess what the name of the place is. Okay, very good. So read the hints that will be given and guess what the name of the place is. For example, and I have one example for you. In this place, you can go and travel by plane. So what's, what's the name of the place? Airport. Yes, very good, the airport. And let me see the picture. Air, airport. airport. Yes, the airport, okay. So this is the definition of the place and this is the place, okay? So in this place, you go and travel by plane, the airport. So what we're gonna do, pairs, is here we have a list of places, okay? So what you're gonna do in pairs is you will guess the name of the place. So please take a picture, take a picture. You know that we always take the picture from there. from the activity. You have the picture? Yes. Yes. Okay. Remember everybody that when you are practicing, you can share, you can share. For example, Francisco, Herman, Avi, and others that I have seen uh, over there, they share, uh, also Irene, they share the, the, the screen, all right? 
you can share the screen. So you can have like, like the picture over there and you, can, and you can read, okay? So now that you have the picture, let me see. I have 12 people today, all right. So we're gonna go to the breakout rooms and we're gonna practice, okay? Okay, very good. Mm. Let me see. Okay, I'm gonna change it here. All right, so let's go to the breakout rooms and we're gonna practice. This, this is not um, so difficult, but okay. Bye-bye, everybody. Let's go to the rooms. Place to pay withdrawal and deposit money a bank. Maybe bank. Do you know, um, Francisco and Linda, do you know the meaning of withdraw? Hmm? Withdraw. In the definition? No. Okay. No, uh, deposit. Deposit is when you go and put the money in the bank. And withdraw is when you go and take money from the bank. Retirar. Exactly, that's the meaning. Yeah, that's the meaning. Mm -hmm. That's the meaning. Teacher, yeah. the one place and in this place you can buy pastry and cake is possible pastry, pastelería. Oh, but, but, okay, pastry is like pan dulce and everything. So how do you call, like for example, el rosario. What is el rosario? Ah, panadería. Exactly. How do you say panaderia in English? Uh, I don't remember. Okay, if you don't remember, you can search uh, in the dictionary, no problem. Okay? Very okay. good. Go and I, I have two. Bakery. Yes, very good. Excellent. Okay, bakery. Okay. In this place, you can buy food, drink, dessert, etc. Yes. Finish. Finish. Yes, finish. Oh my God. Okay. Uh, so what we're, you're gonna do right now is um, I want you to I want you to uh, yeah we have one minute. I want you to think about your definitions. Okay, uh, for example, uh, here we have some places, but you, you can create your definitions from places because that is gonna be the next activity, okay? Okay. So you're gonna, you're gonna be one step forward, okay? Okay. Good, I will go to another room, okay. Okay. Okay, la tercera. Hi. Did you finish? No. 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 Okay, okay. Okay, mm -hmm. Irene is, is just arriving, so maybe she, you, can, you can share the, the, the picture. Edgar, can you share the picture? No. Sí, pero no la puedo compartir porque estoy en la compu y la tomé aquí en mi You cannot share. Okay, okay, don't worry, I will share. Eh, Carmen, Irene, maybe you can take a picture. Okay, Edgar. Ah, oh, está llave. Yes. Hola, hola. Take the picture. Yes. Um, <laughs> because I don't listen. Okay. Listen. Very listen. Nice, nice. Okay. Continue. 
Okay. In the place you can use mirroring. In the place you can release in the church. Uh -huh, in church. In the church. Yes. Mm -hmm. The six. In this place you can see movies. Uh, see the cinema. Yes. Okay, very good. We're gonna check the answers from our activity. Okay, we're gonna share the answers. And in number one, in this place, you can buy pastry and cakes. What's the name of that place? Bakery. 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 Very good. I'm going to, give me a second. I'm going to, I'm going to type the name. All right. Bakery. Perfect. Very good. Bakery. Uh, pastry, everybody, pastry is, uh, for example, relampagos, pachitos. I, don't ask me the name in English because I don't know. Relampago y posteria. All right. <laughs> yes, posteria. Yes. Al menudo. Exactly. Yeah, that, that. Okay. Pastry. In general. Okay, the, the, the cupcakes, the muffins, and etc. Okay, number two. In this place, you can withdraw. I was telling Linda that withdraw is when you go to the bank and take money. You take money. Deposit is the opposite. Okay? So, so in this place, you can withdraw and deposit money. What's the name of the place? Bank. 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 Very bank. good. Bank. Very easy. Number two. In this place, you can buy food, drinks, desserts, etc. Cafeteria. Restaurant. Cafeteria. Okay, we can have different options. Cafeteria, a restaurant, or a cafe. It's cafe. Yeah. Okay, for example, uh, here in El Volcan, we have a lot of cafes. For example, Linda Vista Garden, we have uh, Las Brumas, we have, <laughs> we miss those places, all right. <laughs> okay, number four. This place, you can buy books and magazines. Library. Library. Yeah, very good, I will write it here. Library, all right, library. It's gonna be here, library, okay. Number five, in this place, you can have a religious meeting. Church. 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 Very good. Church. The pronunciation is church. 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 No, right? No church. Yeah, church. <laughs> Very good. Church. Church. Yeah. Mm -hmm. church. church. Okay. Okay, number six. Church. In this place, you can see movies. Movie city. Movie, movie theater. theater, very good. Movie theater, theater cinema, the movies, etc. Number seven, in this place you can do exercise and you can keep fit. Gym. gym. Very good. Gym. I miss you, Jim. <laughs> hey, gym. <laughs> oh, me too. I miss the gym. Uh -huh. yes. How many of you go to the gym? Do you go to the gym? Linda? Yes, I go. Yes, I go to the gym. Oh, Herman, but... do you go to the gym? No, in the house. The ha ah, very good in the house. Okay, very good with the with the with the stick of the broom. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, number eight. In this place, you can receive medical attention. Hospital. 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 Very good. Hospital. Hospital. Okay, number nine. In this place, you can see animals. Zoo. Very good. The zoo. The zoo. In this place, park your car. Parking. 
Parking. parking, and I'm gonna include another word because it has another word. Parking lot, uh, like this. Uh -huh. parking, parking lot, all right. Good, everybody. Now, listen what we're gonna do. What we're gonna do is we will go to the mini rooms again, but in this time, you will create your own definitions, okay? You will create your own definitions. We have more places, for example, bar, university, school, uh, hotel, motel, all right? We have a lot of places in the city that we are missing. Aha, uh -huh. Herman, why are you smiling? <laughs> <laughs> okay, very good, okay. So, um, we're gonna stop the, the share right now. And you will you will create your own definitions. All right. So let me see. How much? Sorry. How much? Oh, um, three. Okay, because because of the because of the of the of the time. All right. I need only three or or four. I'm gonna okay. give you four minutes or five minutes to do it. Okay. So I'm gonna recreate the rooms because. I will have a group of three. Okay, let me see. Where is this? Okay. All right, very good. Okay, okay. Let's go right now. Three or four? Bye bye. Go and give me your definition. Mala. <laughs> in this place. Yes. In this place. I... In this place. You can dance. You can... Dance and drink alcoholic beverage. Woo! Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> Other place. Only beverage. Okay. Two. In this in this place. The teacher that can verbo was to form a base. Sorry? In English. Yes, <laughs> the verb <laughs> used in, in base form. Yes. Base form, for example, in this place you can, because uh, Herman, you have the auxiliary can, and when you have the auxiliary can, the verb is gonna be in base form. So you say can go, can drink, okay? Okay. Yeah, yes. okay. okay, I have to go because someone is asking for help, okay? Yes, Abel, question? Um, <laughs> and go description and work. Um, place a place uh -huh. for example li listen to this i will show you you have to you have to use this sentence this sentence this idea in this place you can and you give your definition for example in this place you go you can go to study what's the name of the place school Excellent. Mm -hmm. So you can, esa puede ser una, okay? In this place, you can go to study, all right? Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, I need three, only three, okay? Good. All right, continue. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. Okay. ¿Cómo se llama? 
question? Yes. Lote para comprar carro. Oh, that is the... Um, oh my God, I forgot. The car, car dealer. Ah, dealer. Car dealer, yes. Car dealer. Car dealer. Yes. Car dealer. Car dealer. How do you write dealer? D E A D A L E R. L E R. L E R. D E A L E R. All right? Sí. Yeah. Thank you. Good. Okay. Very good. I will go to. Yes, better. You can watch the play game or game, cualquier tipo de juego, de juego. Soccer games or yes. soccer or basketball yes. or oh, okay. tennis or any game. <laughs> Stadium. Ah, yeah, Stadium. excellent. Uh -huh. Excellent. Yes. Good. Teacher, reparar. How do you say? Fix. Fix. Yes. Fix, fix the car. Okay. Oh my God, we have only three seconds. Okay. Yes. Okay. Very good, everybody. All right. Uh, let me see. Mm, begin with it. Okay, Edith, read one of your descriptions and your classmates will try to guess. Okay? Okay. Uh, in this place, you can dance and drink alcoholic beverage. Discotheque. <laughs> yes. Hey, a discotheque. Very good. How many, how many of you miss going to the discotheque? Or maybe, maybe not a discotheque, maybe a restaurant where you can go and... Yes. Yes. Nice it. Thank you very much. Linda, give one of your, your uh, definitions. Okay. Uh, in this place, you can play bowling. You can play bowling. Mm -hmm. Galaxy. <laughs> <laughs> Galaxy Bowling. <laughs> Galaxy Bowling. Okay, what's the name of the place? Bowling. Bowling. Okay, bowling. only only a bowling place. All right, you can bowling. say place. Bowling place. All right, very good. Edgar. Hello. Okay, read uh, one of your definitions, please. In this place, you can study. School. Your university. Your university. All right. Very good. Very good. In the school. Nice. Okay. Reina. No. Hello, teacher. Yeah, Reina. <laughs> Sorry. I, it was like. Okay. Go ahead, Reina. You. Uh, in this place, you can buy food, fruit, drink. Excellent. Supermarket. 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 Yay! Supermarket. And you can buy drinks, alcoholic drinks, chips, dips. <laughs> yes, snacks. Diana snacks. Okay. Uh, Herman, it's your turn. Hey, easy. In this place, you can buy shoes, sandals, flats. A woman's favorite place. What's the name, ladies? No idea. Okay, shoe store. Shoe store. Yeah, the shoe store. But you were thinking about MD. <laughs> yeah, Payless or, or different shoes. Okay, different names. Avela Danielson, go ahead. <clears throat> and played a lot of computer. You can use the computer. 
Can you repeat, please? Can you repeat? Yes. In this play, you can I use the computers. In this place, you can use the computers. Okay. Uh huh. Well, everybody. Cyber coffee. PC station. Okay, you can say PC station, uh, cyber coffee, <laughs> but the correct name is Internet Cafe. That's the correct name. Is that the is that the name, uh, Abel and Nilsson? Internet Cafe. Yes. Yes, very good. All right. Uh, Patricia. In this place, you can see soccer games and different concerts. Stadium. Stadium. Yes. Yay, yes. very good. When Alejandro Sanz comes to El Salvador or Ricardo Arjona or... Yes. Okay, very good. Let's go. Now... Excellent, excellent job, everybody. Now, we're going to continue. And the next activity is this. Okay, today we're going to learn uh, the name of some safety gear items. But I want you to investigate with your classmates. So, what are their names? Safety gear items. Okay, I'm going to show you some safety gear items or... Because remember that security in the office or, for example, in places where people work with different heavy things like bodegas, for example, warehouses or, or places like that. Okay. So please take a picture because in the small groups, you will investigate the name of these things. I can give you the names very easily, but I want you to investigate, all right? How you call this thing? This is this is a machina, right? How do you call them? How do you call this? These? How do you call this? 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 And these? All right, very good. Do you have the picture? Yes. Very yes. good. Very good. All right. So we're gonna go in a small group and we'll investigate the name of these things. All right. Uh, okay. Let me see. But we're going to work with different people right now. One group of three. Let me see. I'm going to check. Okay. Let's investigate the name of these things. All right. Bye-bye, everybody. Again, one more time. Yeah. Okay. Abel and Linda? Mm. Sorry. Yeah. I don't have a picture. Hi, teacher. Oh, hi. You don't have the, the machine. picture? Yes, I don't have a picture. Okay, here here they are. Yes, Linda? Ah, okay. The first is casco. Uh -huh. And the other machine, um, I don't know. Maybe, maybe if you want to be like more specific, industrial machine. Industrial machine. In those and the uh, shoes, city and boots. Yeah, but they have a very specific name. Uh, okay, I will. I will. Don't worry. You can. You can right now think about the the names that that you think they have, 
but I'm gonna give you the, the correct names, but I'm gonna tell you right now. They are safety boots. Safety yeah, boots. because they are not common boots, all right? No. Because uh, we have boots for women, we have boots for kids, we have boots for, for, for men, but in this case, these are very special boots. And the, it, and the other parece salta cuerda, pero no sé qué es. Ah, no, they are, they are, uh, earphone, no. Uh, the kind, the name is kind of similar. The name is earplugs. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah, what earplugs. Is, That's the name, earplugs. <coughs> mm -hmm. What is the and, name? Earplugs. And the sorry, uh, sorry, sorry, Abel. What is the medium earplugs? Oh, earplugs. Oh, are these things los los? I don't remember how you call them in Spanish. I just know the name in English. Give me a second. Sorry. Uh, earplugs. Okay, earplugs are tapones para los oídos. That's the name. Mm -hmm. mm, okay. Because in some places like, in some places like um, industrial places, mm -hmm, you can, you can have uh, these uh, things, mm -hmm, these things. Okay, okay. Uh, continue. I'm going to, I'm going to move to another place. All right. Go ahead. Okay. The next place, the extinguisher or Extinguidor. Extinctor. Hi, Herman. <laughs> I always hear you because I am quiet, right? Listening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, extinguisher, or you can say extinguisher. Mm -hmm. Extinguisher. Yeah, fire extinguisher or fire extinguisher. They are the the name. That is that is the name. It has it has two names. Mm -hmm. The, okay. the object the object has two names. Okay. Finish, Yes. Oh my okay. God, we will finish in some seconds. When we go to the to the main room, I'm gonna give you the names, okay? Okay, everybody, I will need your help, okay? I will need your help to give me the names, all right? So what's the name of the of the first thing? Helmet. Sorry? Helmet. Okay, this is a helmet. Very good. This can be one name. Helmet or it can be a hard hat. Mm -hmm. Those are the names. Helmet or hard hat. Yep, they are very, very, very necessary when you are in, in a dangerous place. Okay, what about the next one? Okay, machine. You can say heavy machine or industrial machine. 
heavy or industrial machine. All right, heavy or industrial machine. Is here heavy or industrial machine? What about the next one? Boot. Yeah, so boot, here boot. boot. Safe boot. boot. Sorry. Safe boot. Excellent. Very good. Or you can call them safety boots. All right. Very good. Because we can have different different kinds of boots, right? There are boots for women, there are boots for kids, but these are safety boots. All right. What, uh, are, what about the next one? What are what are these things? These orange things. Earplugs. 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 Very good. They are earplugs. Okay, earplugs. Perfect. Earplugs. Teacher. ¿Qué es eso en figura? Ah, this one. Yes. Oh, eh, son tapones de los oídos. Earplugs. Oh, oh yes. Thank you. Yeah, they, 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 are, they are very curious, right? <laughs> Como que eran audífonos. No yeah, movies. they look like headphones. <laughs> look like headphones, but they are not headphones. They are earplugs. And they are... Oh, okay. They are safety gear items. Okay. What Thank about you. What about this one? What about these, these two lines? Yeah. Sorry? Security line. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, you can safety lines. Safety lines or security lines. But the name is uh, safety lines. Okay. Uh, what about the next one? What about this? Maybe safety best. Yes. That is one option. Safety best. I'm going to write it. Safety best. And also, it has a very long name. Anti-reflective vest. Anti-reflective vest. Okay? Safety vest or anti-reflective vest. Perfect. What about the next one? What's this? What's the name of this? Traffic cone. A cone. Cone. But we're going to be more specific. This is an anti-reflective cone. Or a safety cone. Okay. And sorry, sorry. There's a mistake. Anti-reflective cone. Or it is a safety cone. All right. And what about the last one? Fire extinguisher. Yeah, very good. Fire extinguisher. Fire extinguisher. All right, very good. So these are some safety gear items or safety, um, safety things that you need, all right, in your, in your jobs. But maybe in your jobs, you don't use them because most of you work in an office, all right? But there are some people, for example, people who work at Bidri or people who work at uh, Freund. Uh, all of them are wearing safety boots. Some of them wear uh, a helmet or a hard hat. Okay, very good. Okay, uh, did you write the names? Yeah, okay. <laughs> now, uh, we're gonna go to the next thing. Okay, I'm gonna stop this for a moment and I will come again. Okay, now uh, the next slide, we're gonna go to the, to the book, but first I have a question. I have a question. Do you know where the different rooms are in your workplace? Do you know, for example, um, do you know where the meeting room is? Do, first, do you have a meeting room in your office? Yes. My okay, opinion. do you know where the meeting room is? Next to the bathroom, in front of the, in front of the, the, the manager's office. Where, where is the meeting room in your, in your company? 
Ah, do you know where in the different rooms? In yeah, everybody, tell me. For example, where is the meeting room? ¿Dónde está el salón de reuniones en su trabajo? A la parte del baño, uh -huh, next to the bathroom. In my office, the yeah. meeting room is in front of department calidad. Quality department. Quality department. Ah, okay. So it's in front of the quality department. All right. Yes. And I have a question. Do you know where the bathrooms are? <laughs> the restrooms? Where are the restrooms of your office? In my work is out the office. Out. Oh, okay. They are out of the office. Out. Is oh my God. So if you have an American. Um, yes, if the woman or man uh, is out restroom. Oh, so inside the place? No. Yes, inside the place, uh, in the office. Uh, inside the office is um, have is only for administrative personal administrative. Oh. Is, oh. Okay. Okay. Very good. Okay. Now I, I I get it. Now this is what we're gonna learn today. All right. This is what we're gonna learn today, and we will go to the manual. Okay. Or to your books. Page number 23, if you have your book, all right, page number 23. So here we have a mini conversation, okay? But this mini conversation, we will practice this mini conversation. I will need two volunteers. Hoy no vamos a ir a los mini rooms, porque ahí tenemos bastante que hacer. We have a lot of things to do. So I need two volunteers. I need a Walter and I need a Mary, okay? So yeah, can Walter. I have here for Walter? I'm I am. Mary. I'm Mary. Uh, Linda. I am. Yes. And the other person? I am. I, I, Edgar. I am Walter. Ah, I am Walter. thank you so much. I have a lot of volunteers. I'm very happy for that. I want pizza for everybody. Chipotle I pizza. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna give the opportunity to Edgar, all right? Edgar told me told me uh, earlier. So please, Linda and Edgar, go ahead. Uh, if you have problems with vocabulary, don't worry. I'm gonna help you, okay? One, two, three, okay. action, go ahead. Uh, good morning, everyone. Oh, is everyone. Everyone. Yeah. Everyone is a pleasure. pleasure. To introduce the new floor safety engineer. Hello, everybody. I am Mary, and I am providing some safety instruction today. Okay. Tell you about that, Mr. Mary. Oh, Miss Mary. Miss Mary. Yeah, and this one, Edgar, is tell us. Del, a tell. Tell, Tell us. us. Tell you about us, Miss Mary. Okay. Wear a helmet all the time. Walk between the yellow lines. And don't forget to wear the earplugs all the time. It is important not to get close to red areas. Excellent. Very good. All right. So, uh, do you have any question with vocabulary? Introduce, introduce, introduce. pleasure, yes. safety, providing, safety instructions. And this one is diganos, tell us, como que digamos las telas, tell us, tell us. right? Tell us, tell us. About, about that, Miss Mary. Okay, uh, Jose Nelson, okay, I'm going to give you the chance to be a star right now. And I need another Mary. Who yeah, wants no. to? Yes. Who, yeah, Nelson is going to be Walter. And I need another Mary. Hi. Okay, okay, Erica. Thank you very much. So, Erica and Jose Nelson Pineda, go ahead. 
for the second time. Okay. One, two, three, action. Good morning, everyone. It is a pleasure to introduce the new floor safari engineer. Hello, everybody. I am Mary, and I am providing some safety intro introduction today. Tell us about that, Miss Mary. Wear a helmet all the time. Wall between the yellow lines and don't forget to wear the earplugs all the time. It is important not to get close to red areas. Okay. okay, very, very, very good, everybody. Very good. Okay. Now, uh, I'm going to show you a video. This is a, a, a very a very funny video. Can you see the, the PowerPoint? No. Yes. Okay. Can yes. you see the can you see do you know uh, can you see the PowerPoint? Which PowerPoint can you see? No. The no. conversation. The manual. the manual. Ah, you look at the manual. All right, very good, very good. You're looking at the manual. No, I'm gonna show you what I want to show you. What I want to show you is it is a video, a short video. This video is silent. Do you know this man? Yes. Do you know this man? Um, His name is Napo. Do you know about Napo? Napo. Yeah. Ya lo conozco. <laughs> you know about Napo, all right. Napo is uh, a guy, okay. And he, let me check. We're gonna go, yeah. We're gonna watch a YouTube video about Napo. Can you see the YouTube page? You see YouTube? Uh, no. See oh, the presentation, yeah. the PowerPoint. Ah, the presentation, all right. I'm gonna stop the share and I'm gonna go back again and here. Okay, so I'm gonna show, now you see YouTube? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. Uh, the video, the video is uh, 30 minutes. No lo vamos a ver todo. We're, gonna, we're not gonna see the video. We're gonna see only uh, some minutes, so you can see about Napo. Napo is Napo is a man. Well, this video doesn't have any sound, uh, any any people speaking, but it is very nice because it shows you the safety um, the safety steps you need to have in your companies. All right. So I'm gonna show you Napo, okay, and I'm gonna show you right now. It is a very, a very nice video and funny, but pay attention.
Okay, uh, in that case, what, what do you think were the safety items that he needed to wear? Yeah. What were the helmet. A hard hat or a helmet, yeah, and what else? Oh, a helmet. Um, safety? Safety boots? Safety vest? Exactly, safety boots, safety okay. Boots. So, yeah, because the, the yellow sign represents danger, all right? So he didn't pay attention to that, okay. Now, the next situation. And over there was the what was the problem? I mean, what what were what were the things that do you, he needed to wear to be care? Well, first he needed to be careful. But can you tell me other things that 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 he needed to wear in that situation? Do you think he needed to wear a helmet? Do you help? No, he held helmet. Exactly. He, he didn't have a helmet, so he had to wear one one helmet, right? Very safety good. Safety vest. A safety vest. Very good. A safety vest. Because if you are wearing a safety vest, the person who is driving the, the forklift uh, can see you, right? Okay. Next situation. Okay, in this case, we can use the expression, it is not allowed, all right? Or it is not permitted. Mm -hmm. Okay, what does this sign mean with the structure that we were learning yesterday? No. It, is not, it is not allowed to smoke. Excellent, very good. It is not allowed to smoke or it can be an imperative. Don't smoke, all right? Don't very good. Smoke. Exactly, yeah. So what does this sign mean? Can you tell me? It is not allowed the truck. All right, yeah. 
So you can say it is not allowed to drive to drive uh, a forklift. I, I will type the name of this. The name of this thing is a forklift. That's the name, forklift. Mm -hmm. That's the name, forklift or lift, okay? It can be only forklift or lift. Okay, very good. Okay, in there, what, what do you think he had to wear? What do you think he had to wear over there? Use the glass. Glasses. Okay, glasses, glasses. But because glasses. we are talking about security things or, or safety things, we're going to say safety glasses. Mm -hmm. Safety glasses. Uh, those are the glasses a lot of people right now are wearing because of the COVID, right? A lot of people are wearing safety glasses. Okay, very good. Safety glasses. Uh, I'm gonna stop a moment because I need to. I need to take the attendance. I'm sorry. Okay, Ruth Patricia Zuniga Alvarenga. Present. Okay. Abel Edenil Salazar Melara. Present. And the gecko too. Saida Janet Perez Rodriguez. Present. Oh, Saida is there. Okay. Ivit Alexandra Rivera. Present. Okay. Uh, Victor Palacios Reyes. Present. Yay, Victor is there. Okay. Uh, Claudia Lorena Funes Covel. <laughs> no yet. Okay. Um, Grecia Ivonne Mejia Ayala. No here. Um, Sandy Stephanie Pais Orellana. Present. Okay. Germán Agustín Ramos Viqueda. Present. Juliana Araceli Ramos Tales. Present. Ah, she's there. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't. <laughs> okay. Sigifredo Norberto Cerón Valle. Present. Okay. Uh, Edgar Manuel Bonilla Franco. Present. Okay. Very good. Jose Nelson Gustavo Pineda. Sí. Ok. Raquel Abigail Cigarán Murcia. Present. Ok. Carmen Irene Navidad Campos. Present. Ok. Cam, Linda Xiomara Tabora Portillo. Present. Ok. Very good. Give me a second. Mm. Okay, let me see. The next one is Erika Elizabeth Salmeron de Omanzor. Present. All right. Um, Reina de la Paz Villatoro de Álvarez. Present. Ah, okay. And Francisco Edgardo Perez Guzmán. Present. Excellent, very good. Okay, so let's continue watching about this crazy man. Okay.
<laughs> okay, what was the problem over there? What do you think he had to wear? Wear earplugs. Exactly. He had right. to wear earplugs. Excellent. Very good. Okay, we're going to continue with our book. Okay. Okay, uh, here. All right, so what we're gonna learn today is, we're gonna learn a little bit about prepositions. I'm gonna minimize this, okay. Now, what we're gonna do, esto lo vamos a hacer juntos. We're gonna do it together because I, I think that it's a little small. It is a map, but I see the map a little, a little small. Okay, so we have to match the, 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 the areas. Okay, for example, the production area in this map is, is letter A. So the production area is this, all right? Production area. So if you have your book, you can, you can write the, the things, all right? Production area, all right. So if you have your book, that will be great. The production area is here. Now, uh, reception area. Where is the reception area? Reception area is here. All right, reception area. Okay, this is the reception area. Now, planning area. How do you say esta la parte? How do you say that in English? Next to. Next to. Okay, so you say. The production area is, sorry, sorry, sorry. The planning area is? Next to. to Next exactly. To. Reception area. Exactly, very good. The planning area is next to the production area. Okay, production area. They are next to. What about manager office? Manager office is here. Okay, so we say manager office. Okay, manager office is here. Now, uh, auditor office. Auditor office is, how do you say, está a la par de la oficina del manager? Beside. Oh no. Behind, is behind the office manager. Do you think it's behind? Um, yes, next behind. Uh -huh, behind, next atrás, behind. Si no se pueden esas palabras, ya las vamos a aprender. We're gonna learn those words in a moment, all right? So behind. So, uh, let me see. The quality control. Where is quality control? Is these three, all right? So these are quality control, okay? It is all this area. I show you. Let's see. Quality control is all this area. All right. Quality control. What about restrooms? Where are the restrooms? The restrooms are here. Okay. Restrooms. And exit. Where is the exit? Okay. The exit is here. Okay, and the parking is here. Okay, now maybe you can take a picture porque lo vamos a usar después. We're gonna use it later. Take, take a picture, all right? Right now, I'm gonna show you the different expressions that we can use. Do you have the picture? Yes. Yeah, very good, very good, all right. No, so, not yet. Oh, not yet, oh, sorry. Wait, give me a second. Quality control. Quality control. Okay. Now you have it? Yes. Yeah, very good. Okay, very good. Now I'm gonna erase because I need to... Okay. I need to go to uh, the next part that is here. Okay. Well, here we have some vocabulary, right? Pero esto está, era, eh, it's a, a little vocabulary for, because these ones are, 
expressions to give direction. For example, go straight, turn left, turn right, walk 10 meters and walk through the production area. But I, I have more for you, all right? I have more expressions for you. Give me a second. They are here. Okay. I have more for you and they are here, okay? Prepositions to give directions and expressions to give locations. Now, what we're gonna learn first are the prepositions. The prepositions of place. Estas sirven para ubicar, all right? For example, a la par, enfrente, atrás, etc. So, for example, the first one. The first one is behind, okay? Behind, behind, okay. The next one is in front of. What's the meaning of in front of, everybody? Frente. Mm -hmm. Very good. Frente de. Excellent, very good. Then we have next to, okay, next to, right? Between, in, Near, cerca, that's the meaning of near, okay, cerca, above. near, above, okay, this and this, what's the difference, okay, look at me, Space. on is this, on, for example, the alcohol so, is, oh, exactly, exactly. Alcohol is on my hand. But if we say above, for example, Encima. above me, I have a, a, let me see if you can see. Can you see the, the light? Yes. yes. Okay. So above me, I have the light. No la tengo sobre la cabeza, sino que está. Encima. No la tengo encima de la cabeza, la luz. I don't no. have the, sobre. the... Sobre. La tengo sobre. Very good. All right? Very good. That's it. On is when it is on top, like this. For example, this object can be on. This object can be on. But if you say above, we have uh, a distance. Is it clear? Yes. Very good. And then we have below. Below, debajo, debajo, pero también hay una distancia, all right, below, all right, very good. Because another that is similar is under, mm -hmm. under, ese sí mm -hmm. es debajo, right, mm -hmm. under. Mm -hmm. And then we have in, okay, so these are expressions to give location. Now, we have giving directions, all right, for example, turn left. When you are when you are driving, right? Turn left. Vale, vamos a ver. Levanten. Let me see. Vamos a ver. Raise everybody. Raise your left hand. Show me your left hand. Very good, Evit. Very good, Edgar. Show me your left hand. Left. Very good, Herman. Left. No, left. Yeah. Left. That is right. No, yeah. the other, the other. Uh, hey, very good. Tengo una pregunta, perdone que la haga en español. ¿Es, es usted zurdo? Eh, solo de pie. <laughs> Pero brazos y derechos. Really? ¿Y eso cómo es? Yes. To play soccer. Yes, ajá. Es, ajá. Me ah. hicieron derecho de mano, creo. Oh, ok, ok. Eh, Abel de Nilsson, la otra. The other, the other hand. Left. The other. Yes, left. Ok, very good. Excellent. Muy And right. Bien. Show me your right hand. La otra vez, right, la derecha, right, very good, very good, okay. I will, 
les pregunto esto. I ask you this because I have problems with left and right. Porque yo soy zurda. I am left hand. So, si a mí me dicen right, yo voy para el left. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So, I wanted to show. I wanted to see. Very good, Abel. Today is the zurdo day. No. Really? Yes. Oh, congratulations to me. Yeah, I, I am, I am left-handed. Yo levanto esta porque estoy de frente de ustedes, right? I am in front. Okay, so uh, I'm going to continue with this expression. So when you say turn, turn left. Very good. Okay, so when you turn left. <laughs> all right. Go straight ahead. Go straight. Okay. For example, conocen el Boulevard Los Héroes. Do you know Los Héroes Boulevard? Yes, okay. Yes. yes. And do you know Veterinaria Los Héroes? Los Héroes? Do you know that? Mm. Yes. No. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, Las Tres Torres? Do you know Las Tres Torres? Yes. yes. Okay. So, si yo quiero ir, if I want to go from Las Tres Torres to Metro Centro, what do you say? Oh, yes, go straight ahead. All right? No left, no right. Go straight. Is it clear? Yes. Yes, all right, very good. No left, no right. Go straight. That is the Ahead es como irse recto. Vayase recto, recto. Go straight ahead. All right, very good. The next one is go past. Go past es como pasar de largo. For example, oh, I am in Las Tres Torres, okay? So you go straight ahead, you go past Banco de América Central, you go ahead, you go past um, China Walk and Pizza Hut, go ahead, yeah? Is it clear? Yes. Is clear the yes. meaning of is clear the meaning of go past? Yes. Yes. Como pasarlo de largo, all right? Uh, yeah, lo va a ver ahí, pero ignore it, okay? You continue. That is the meaning of go past. Cross. Cross is when you are in one, in one side of the street and you have to cross to go to the other side of the street. All right? Very good. That is what you will do. The next one is uh, at the corner of. En la esquina, at the corner. Mm -hmm. At the corner. Then we have next to opposite, uh, like, like, for example, if you say, do you know Pizza Nova? Do you know Pizza Nova, everybody? Yes. 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 Yeah. Uh, the opposite, on the opposite corner, on the opposite corner from Pizza Nova, we have Las Fajitas, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. They are opposite corners. Yeah? Están como enfrente, pero en las esquinas opuestas. Sería como opuesto, right? That would be the opposite. And between, well, here is an example. Between. Okay, between. All right. Do you have any question with this? Está difícil. Is it difficult? Yes. Parale. Yeah. La clave con esto, the key with this is memorizárselos to memorize them all the expressions no hay vuelta de hoja no turn around so behind behind in front of in front of next to next to i have to memorize pero ya vamos a practicar ahorita vamos a practicar we're going to practice right now because uh, this is not that easy okay now on the map si yo les pregunto okay here we have some questions. The question is, where are the restrooms? On the map, where are the restrooms, everybody? Where are the restrooms? Can you give me, can you give me the, the answer? Where are the restrooms? Yeah. Below, below office man, manager office? 
Sorry? Between uh, in is next to manager the office. section area. Ah, okay. We can have different options. So vamos a escribir. We're gonna type the sentence. So we're gonna say the restrooms, the restrooms are because it's plural the restrooms are below next to. next to right yes next to the Man office manager office okay very good next to the manager office and here we have a complete sentence all right very good so the restrooms are to the manager office. Very good. So that's, esa oración está completa. It is complete. Okay, because you have the first, the first place, the preposition, and next to what place. Okay. Now question number two. Where is quality control? Where is quality control? So quality, quality control. Quality control is from of planning area. Okay. Is from the planning area. The quality control is about the. Front. Front. Okay, in this case, alguien mm. lo dijo por ahí, someone said it there. Quality control is in front of mm -hmm. planning area. Next to exit. <laughs> Okay, so uh, quality control is in front of planning area. All right, very good. Now, question number three. Where is the manager office? Esa oración no va a salir bonita. That sentence will be very, very nice. All right. Where is manager office? So, manager office. Manager office is yeah? between, 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 exactly. between auditor and restrooms. Exactly. Auditor office and restrooms. Excellent. Very good. So if you know the vocabulary, if you know very well the prepositions, it's going to be easy for you to give location is it clear yeah because location is ah my office is next to um sandra's office my office is behind the bathroom my office is in front of okay y no solo la oficina también la casa all right esto también se usa en contexto normal context my house is next to another house. <laughs> All right. And in front of another house. And near another house. Another house. Very good. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Nice. Excellent. Is it clear? Yes, teacher. Yes. All right. Yes. Let's continue. Let's continue. Number four. Where is the exit? Where is the exit? Okay, think about a sentence. Where is the exit? Is everybody? The exit in front of parking. Between is between bet the exit is between, between and that can be one option. Uh -huh. 
between is parking and between parking and, and control con quality control quality control all right very good the exit is between parking and quality control very good all right the exit is between parking and quality control very good now uh we're gonna we're gonna practice some questions i will show you some questions because i need you to practice more all right ah uh, sorry 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 but first i'm gonna show you another video okay i'm gonna show you another video here that i have ready is this this video asking okay? for directions so this video este video is bien útil this video is very 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 useful and it is about asking for directions inside a building okay pay attention si no pueden anotar el nombre all right you can ask the then you can sorry write the name of the video asking for directions inside a building if you want more time after to to write the expressions okay let's let's watch inside a building where is room where is room 101 where is the where is the office where are the where are the stairs How do I get to How do I get to room 101 How do I get to Gabby's office How do I get to an exit Directions, vocabulary, and phrases. Go upstairs. Go downstairs. Go straight. Go down the hall. Turn right. Turn left. Exit. <laughs> Room 101 is on your right. The exit is on your left. Take the elevator up to the third floor. Take the elevator down to the basement. Okay, I have a question. What was the was the volume okay or it was a little was the was the volume okay? Estaba bien el volumen? Was the volume okay? Yes. Yes, okay. Now I'm gonna repeat and I'm gonna explain to you. All right. Okay. The first part of the video are the questions that we can use to ask for a place uh, or, or to ask for, for a location adentro, inside a building. All right, very good. So the first question is, for example, where is room? And they give you an example, right? Where is room 101? Where is room 101? 
The next one is where is the, where is the office, where is the bathroom, where is the quality control area, where is the, mm -hmm. and the next one is where are the, where are the stairs, donde están las, las escaleras, right, where are the stairs, donde está el elevador, where is the elevator, where is, all right, so these questions are very, very, very important, all right. Then we have another question is, ¿Cómo llego a? How do I get to? That is the meaning of that question. I'm telling you in Spanish because I think in this way you will understand a, li a little better. All right, very good. So how do I get to? How do I get to? Okay, very good. Uh, for example, how do I get to room 101? How do I get to Gabby's office? How do I get to an exit? It's like the same if you say, uh, where do I go, all right? Now, the next is uh, inside the building already. Suba las gradas, go upstairs, all right? Okay, and then we have the opposite, that is go downstairs. Okay, then we have go straight or go down the hall. Do you know the name of hall, everybody? you. Very good. That's the meaning of hall. All right. So go down the hall. Or you can say go straight. Go straight the hall. All right. Go straight. Or walk straight. All right. Very good. So the most important thing, the most important thing here is learning the expressions. Okay. Teacher, for me is very difficult this. Okay. If you memorize the expressions, it's going to be easy. All right? Very good. Now, uh, the next one is turn right. Turn right. Okay. Then we have turn left. So right and left. Mm -hmm. Turn right, turn left. Uh, how do you say in English, vaya a la salida? Go to the exit. Go to the exit. Excellent. Very easy. Very go to the exit. ¿Cómo diríamos la salida está allí? The exit here. Here. Uh -huh. The exit is here. Over there. 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 Mm -hmm. Because here is a key, right? So you say, oh, the Where? exit is there. All right. Very good. The exit is there. Then we have. Room 101 is on your right. Está a su izquierda. Room, uh, sorry, a su derecha, you see. <laughs> All right. Room 101 is on your right. So, a su derecha. Ah, yeah, that is the meaning. Room 101 is on your right. Or room 101, uh, the exit is on your left. On your left. All right. On your right, on your left. Okay, very good, on your left. Then we have, take the elevator up to the third floor. Yeah? Como diríamos, tome el elevador al primer piso y usted está en el tercero. How would you say that in English? Can you tell me that in English? Take the elevator. To take the elevator to the first floor. But I am on the third floor and I need to go to the first floor. Ah, yes down to exactly. the first take, floor. Exactly. Down, take down. the elevator down, down. to the first floor. The yeah, first usted floor. tiene que ubicarse a donde está, hacia arriba, abajo, all right? Y así es como vamos a usar las palabras. And how is going to use the words? I'm, I'm telling you this a little bit in Spanish because this topic is a little difficult, but if we practice and memorize the expressions, it's going to be very, it's going to be easier. Okay, this is the other, yeah? Take the elevator down to the basement, all right? Down. Basement is, um, I, I forgot. Parking? No. Planta baja? Yeah, but in the house is, 
in the United States, in the houses, they have a basement. Oh, sótano. Hey, yeah, very sótano. good. Yeah, that's the word. Thank you very much. I didn't remember the word. Okay, so uh, is is this is this clear or is difficult? Kind of. All right. Don't worry because in this moment you are in basic five. All right. In ba in basic five, you are learning the vocabulary. And in more levels, we will practice, but we will practice uh, today with some questions that I will show you. Okay, the questions. The questions are, well, we have some questions here. These questions are in the book, all right? These questions are in the book. So what we're gonna do in this moment is we're gonna practice these questions. These questions are on your book, all right? And we need to look at the map. Okay, we need to look at the map. Okay. Ooh, there was a. There is a little. Sorry. A little mistake here. Okay, here is parking. Okay, so in the map that I showed you, we have to answer these questions. For example, how many areas are there in the Rex facilities? Es ese mapa que les enseñé. That is the map that I showed you, right? Is there a financial office in these facilities? How many quality control offices are there? Is there an auditor office? Is there a parking lot? Are there any restrooms in the office? Okay. So what we have to do is we have to answer these questions. Um, if you have the question of, if you have the, the picture of the map, it's going to help you, right? If you have the picture of the map. Now here, what we're going to practice a little bit, o lo que vamos a repasar un poquito, is uh, there is and there are. Okay, there is and there are. So pay attention to the, to the question. For example, we're gonna answer the first question together. How many areas are there in the Rex facilities? Do you remember? There are nine areas. Excellent, very good. Then we will say there are nine areas. All areas. right, very good, there are nine areas. Excellent, excellent answer. Because in the question you have, there are, are there, okay? Uh, you have the picture? Yes. Yeah, very good, excellent. So we're gonna go and we're gonna practice uh, this in a small room. Okay, so there are two participants and we will go. This is not something so difficult. Bye-bye, everybody. We're gonna practice the question. Okay, bye bye. Office. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay, the next question. How many quality control office are there? Mm. How many quality control office are there? Three, uh, One, two, three. 
there are there are three areas one are nine in la primera uh -huh. they are nine by la segunda hola hola hi how are you <laughs> bien muy bien fine Teaching, sorry. Uh, yes, Victor. What what do you mean, Rex policy? Fact, Rex policy. Uh, is this? Uh, uh, I will show you, Victor. Mm. Is this Victor? Ah, oh, is the, um, the 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 map? Yes, the map. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, okay. yeah see the, dia the diagram. This is a diagram of uh, Rex facilities. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, they are they are the facilities, and these are the the, the questions. Oh, okay. Uh, in my office is a uh, one, two, three, four, six. Four, five. You fit. Yeah. You finished? No. Yes, finish. Oh, you finished. All right. Uh, let me see. Mm, so, how many? No, sorry, sorry, sorry. Is there a financial office in these facilities? There isn't a financial a financial office. Ah, oh, okay, very good. Yeah. So, so no, there isn't. Ah, no, there isn't. Mm, yeah, you can you can say the short form or the long form. There is no problem. Oh, okay. okay. How many quality control offices are there? Yes, are there. How many? There are three. Uh, Yes. Ah, quality control. Quality control offices. Quality, quality control offices. Okay. Is there a parking lot? Yes, there is. Okay. All right. Uh, are there any restrooms in the office? <laughs> Uh huh. Are there any restrooms in the office? Restaurant. Uh, restrooms. A restroom. Huh? Yes, there are Excellent. restrooms. Excellent. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. In some minutes, we're leaving. Thank you. But let's go. Sorry, my microphone. All right. Now, uh, here we have some questions. These, these were the questions that I, that, I, that I showed you, but I'm gonna ask you a little quickly. Um, is there a finance office in these facilities? Everybody? Is there a financial office in Rex facilities? No. no. There isn't. No, there isn't. There isn't. Excellent. Very good. No, there isn't. Okay. The next one. How many quality control offices are there? There are there three are quality, three quality control offices. Excellent. Very good. There are three. Excellent answer. Mm -hmm. Right? There are three. Now, um, is there a parking lot in the facilities? Yes, there is. Yes, there is. Okay, excellent. Very good. Now yes, we're gonna continue with this part. This part is very is very nice. Okay, very good. Now, so here we have uh, the last activities that we're gonna do today. First, we're gonna do this, and here we have. A group of visitors is coming to Rex facilities. 
explain to them the set of basic rules and safety instructions for visitors in a courteous way. So here you have any, you have some ideas. For example, um, Linda, can you help me please read? Okay. Uh, wear a helmet all the time. Walk between the yellow lines. Don't touch any machine. Wear the earplugs all the time. Wear industrial boots. Don't get close to red areas. Excellent, very good. Now, if you pay attention here, these safety instructions are in an imperative way. Okay, they are in an imperative way. Do you remember the imperatives, right? In la primera semana lo vimos, los imperativos, right? The imperatives. For example, where, remember, they begin with a verb. This is an affirmative imperative, a negative imperative, right? Very good. Now, here, here we have the, the questions that we have uh, to follow, all right? Very good. Okay, so here we have uh, the safety instructions. So you have to explain to a group of visitors, all right, in a very courteous way. ¿Cómo haríamos esto? How will, we, how will we make this more polite, more courteous? How would you make it more courteous? ¿Cómo lo haríamos más cortés? How will we make this? Because if you say, wear a helmet. Walk between the yellow lines. Don't touch any machine. I think that is a little rude. How would you make those instructions more polite? Eso Please. Eso es lo que vamos a hacer. That is what we're going to make in groups. All right. And the second part, the second part is this. So this activity has two parts. The second part is, sorry. The second part is this. You will, uh, you here have some safety instructions in case of a fire. Imagine a fire. So what you have to do is you have to check what things you have to do in a fire and what things you don't have to do the things you have to do and the things you don't have to do. You have to check. For example, locate an evacuation route. Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes of course. Yes. All right, very good, very good, okay. So if you want, take a picture of the, of the, of the, of the exercises, all right? If you want, take a picture. Son dos cosas las que vamos a hacer. Two things that we're going to do. The first part, make these instructions more courteous. And number two, check what safety instructions you can do in a fire and what safety instructions you don't have to do in a fire. Okay? Do you have the picture? Have the picture, everybody? Yes, yes. Yay, very good. All right. So I'm going to stop the share. Y ya es de lo último, the last activity that we're going to do. All right. So let me see. Give me a second, everybody. Give me a second. I'm having a little, okay, here. Okay. Okay, so let's go. Bye-bye. Let's do the exercise right now. Okay. Bye-bye, everybody.
is make more polite. Yes, use the should. Use the should. Maybe use should. Should. Should wear a helmet all the time. You, sh Hello? you, sh you should. Yes, you should. Okay. Should wear. It's polite. Mm -hmm. Should wear a helmet all the time. Yes. Okay. El sure es como más polite, no es como weird. No es, no es imperative. Uh -huh. Ah, yeah, you should, yes. Yes, use the should. You should, yes, you ya should. lo vimos, right? Yes. You already yeah. studied that, yeah, you should, because it's more courteous and everything. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Good. Well, Taylor. To the, 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 the instruction. Hello, hello. Uh, remember, everybody, remember that to make something more courteous or more polite, we can use should. Do you remember? Before, mm -hmm. before vacation, we studied uh, you should, you shouldn't. Do you remember? Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Wear a helmet. Oh, you should wear a helmet. Wear earplugs. You should wear earplugs. Ear All right. Okay. Ah, okay. I, 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 you, uh, we use the, the should. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. In the primera parte, in the first okay. part, we use should oh, and shouldn't. Okay. All right. I don't remember. You didn't remember. No. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Continue. Good. Okay. Remember, okay. just remember that in the first part, uh, do you remember week number one, we studied a little bit about should and shouldn't. Do you remember? Should. Sure. Yes. For example, if you say, hey, don't touch, you shouldn't touch any machine because you want to be polite. It's clear? Yes. So in this part, yes. can use you should or you shouldn't. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, you, yes. you should walk between the yellow line. Perfect. 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 Very good. So, shouldn't touch any machine. Yeah, you shouldn't. Yes. You should yeah but in this case you're gonna use uh, the uh, the complete sentence mm -hmm. yeah. you should use the airport all the time you should wear wear yeah the airport all the time mm -hmm. yeah mm. Yeah, we said that we have the earphones. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, boys, I'm going to tell you something. Do you remember in the first week, we studied a little bit about should and shouldn't? Do you remember? Yes. Uh, yes. Should and shouldn't are for giving recommendations. So, en vez de decir, por ejemplo, uh, wear a helmet. You should yes. wear a helmet. In that case, you are more polite or you are more courteous. Is it clear? Yes. Yeah, for example, uh, don't touch any machine. Oh, you shouldn't touch any machine. Mm -hmm. Is it clear? Yeah. Yeah, yes. okay. If you have a question, uh, just call me, all right? Okay. Okay. 
Okay. Time, please. Where industrial or oh, perfo or oh, por podría ser, please. Please. Where where industrial industrial Excellent. Uh -huh. Good. Or yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Or you can use uh, Irene Nelson. I don't know if you remember. Should and shouldn't. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, you, you can say wear industrial boots. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You should wear industrial boots. Or you can say please. Yeah, no problem about that. Uh, Excellent. Puede usar you should or you shouldn't not, please. You should, you should yeah, please. you should wear a helmet, please. You shouldn't or you shouldn't wear um, high heels. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can, you can do it. Ambas. Yeah, Con ambas. yeah you okay. can use it. There is no problem, no problem about that, okay? Okay. Perfect. Okay. All right, continue. Continue. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Don't get close. Don't get close to them. Low interest from the direct scrutiny. Yes. Get close to the fire. Get close to the fire. I don't know. Close to the fire. No. No. Get 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 close to the fire. No. No, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're gonna have an emergency. <laughs> Go to the meeting point. Go to the meeting point. No. No. Ah, yes. Ir al punto de reunión. Ah. But the question. Yes. Lock the doors. No. Uh -huh, cerrar las Look puertas. No. no. Teacher. Teacher. Yes, ask me. <laughs> and the first part, uh, we use uh, should in the all the sentences. It is correct. Yes, no problem. I mean, uh, other classmates, uh, other groups that I visited right now, they are making uh, the expressions like, for example, with expressions like, please. Yeah, so mm -hmm. wear a helmet all the time, please. All right, to be polite, you, you have a lot of ways. But if you use, you should, perfect. There is no problem about that. Actually, mm -hmm. I really, I really told I told your other classmates to use should and shouldn't. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. There is no problem. You finish. Ponemos en práctica. <laughs> yeah, no, it's okay. Perfect. Lo aprendido. <laughs> of course. That's good. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Do you have any question with this? No? No. no. Finish. finish. Okay, we finished. All right. So we, we are finish. going to today. I'm going to close the rooms right now so we can go. Okay. Oh, because 14 seconds are missing. Now, a little quickly with you. Uh, call the fire department, yes or no? Yes. Use the elevator? Yes. No. No. Get back if you forgot personal objects like your husband? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> uh, get close to the fire? No. <laughs> Go to the meeting no. point? Yes. Yes. Lock the door? Sorry, I was muted. Now, in, in one minute, we finish. So we're gonna do this. Vamos, we're gonna do this. All right. Now, um, let me see where is it. It's just gonna be here. Now, everybody, um, here we have some things that we can do in case of a, of a fire in the workplace. Now, we're gonna check the ones that we can do. For example, Locate evacuation route, yes or no? Yes, okay. Yes. 
It called? Yes. Is they called? Yes. 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 Call the fire department? Yes. 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 Hey. The Vader? No. 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 Never. All right. No. Get back if you forgot personal objects? No. 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 I said it once. No, right? <laughs> Use any fire extinctor? Yes. 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 No. You have to be careful with the fire extinctors because there are some fire extinctors that because they have a, uh, I don't remember the substance, uh, it is dangerous, all right? I don't know if you in your jobs, have you ever received uh, an emergency training? No? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Or, ha or how, to yes. Use, how to use fire extinguishers? Have you seen or have you ever received a training? Yes. Yes. If you haven't training. received, if you, you haven't, have ah, no. no, if you haven't received a training on how to use fire extinguishers, maybe you can watch videos on YouTube because it is very important. Because there is one fire extinguisher that if you take it, hay unos que traen como una campana. If you take them, if you take them from there, se le puede quedar pegada la mano. Your hand can be can be over there. Did you know that? I don't remember the, 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 the name of the fire extinguisher because they are separated in letters, but you have to be careful. Follow the instructions from the rescue team? Yes. 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 Get close to the fire? No. No. Oh, no. never. Go to the meeting point? Yes. 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 And lock the doors. No. No. Never. No. Okay. Very good. Very good. Now I'm gonna close it here, and we finish. We finish. So for tomorrow, everybody, uh, please thank you very much today uh, that you were here. I'm sorry today, but I have a little toothache, and I have a little headache. So if you didn't see me like very happy, it was because of that reason, because I have a, a, a toothache. Thank you very much, everybody. God bless you. I'm very happy that you are here and have a good night. All right? Bye-bye, okay. everybody. Bye-bye. See you. Take care. Thank you so much for being here.